Hi there, and welcome to a handful of definitions you should know for the organizational theory of open systems. The first and fundamental concept of openness refers to an emphasis on the key relationship between an environment and the internal functions of a system, having an open door policy between the system and the environment. Second, the ability to self-regulate and the ability to maintain a steady state, similar to the illustration of a heartbeat on a monitor. Constant and steady refers to homeostasis. Entropy refers to the system's tendency to deteriorate and run down. In order for an open system to sustain itself, it must import information, matter, and energy to offset anthropic tendencies. The internal regulatory mechanisms of a system to be as diverse as, an, as its environment in which the system exists. Allowing for a system to deal with issues created by the environment refers to requisite variety. Interdependence is defined as the parts of a system being interconnected, sharing space, and being truly optimal when they are all present. Thus, a system cannot function if parts are missing. Equifinality defined as the existence of many different ways of arriving at an end state within an open system. And so, a system must have flexible patterns of organization, allowing for specific achievements despite having started at different points. There are multi-paths to get to the end. Lastly, the concept of non-summative or non-summativity refers to the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. As such, we don't necessarily want to pay attention to the pieces of a puzzle. Even more so, we're not as concerned with how the pieces fit together or the conflict that might arise by putting the pieces together. Instead, we want to focus on the big picture, within and outside of an open system. There you have it. Seven definitions for the open system approach. Done.